Hello, if you're watching this, you're probably on the site of the Newt with one of our mixers without tech support. So I'm gonna give you a quick run through on how to get inputs and outputs and yeah, a sound out of the PA. So here we go, let's start with our reset. So you wanna, might wanna reset the desk when you've got here just to make sure that there's nothing left from the previous band or anything people have done before, just to sort of give you a clean slate to make sure there's no weirdness going on inside the mixer. Right, so we wanna to go to uh, um, dum dum scenes. Here it says reset mix settings. So we wanna go standard, reset, yes. Now this is reset the desk to a base standard with nothing else in. Now let's have a look at our inputs. So we roll over to where it says processing. So we're on this screen. This is the main screen starting home of the desk. Channels one through to 16 on page A. So this is where the majority of you will be most of the time. So if we select input one, then this is brought up input one. And we can see there's a source into this on input one. You may be able to see that it's flashing red. Well, it's gone off. I've got the source coming from YouTube. So yeah, here we go. If we push it up, fader one. Because Miele products are designed to last for 20 years, giving you perfect You notice know, it's quite loud. Yeah. And it's going to peak when it goes to the music. So we want to wind the gain back a little bit. The gain is set to 28 dB standard. Now this only really needs to be four or six because it's a line level input. So that is on channel one. Going into our main fader. The main fader here is the left and right of the PA. So that is the master. Everything that comes from here goes to there. Now, next thing is we have the iPod input, which is going to be used for playback in between bands, line levels, backing tracks, whatever. Probably Beth may want to use it for the music before you start, the music in between bands. So that is over here on page layer C. So if you look at layer C over here, ST1 stands for stereo input one, which is already in the back of the desk. It's cable tied to the desk and it's a constant iPod input. I have my iPad attached to this. So if we look, push up. Yeah. So let's go back to layers A. Just want to go through gain with you again, just to make sure that we all understand what gain is and what gain's doing. So gain is basically the amount of level that you need to pre-amplify the input. This is a, number one that we've used is obviously a line level input, so it doesn't need any preamp. Input two, for instance, may be a microphone, an SM58, generally needs between 24 to 32 dB of gain. As you can see, it's set to 28. Another interesting fact that you may need is phantom power for DI boxes, condenser microphones, etc. Now to print the phantom power on the channel, you need to have the channel selected. So input two onto this screen, which is on the processing screen when I've hit where, where the gain is. So if you see phantom power, 48 volt hold. I hold it, phantom power is now on and the DI box, condenser microphone, etc. will have the phantom power that it requires. So now let's go to the output section of the desk, just to give you a quick rundown on that. So outputs are over here. As you can see, we're currently on LR, which is left and right. Output one is gonna be your monitor mix one. Now standard new setup is there's two monitors. So monitor mix one and monitor mix two. These monitors will be wired as you look at the stage from the audience. 
the left hand one will be one, the right hand one will be two. So as you're standing on the stage, the right hand performer will be one and the left hand performer will be two. It's always wired this way. That's just a standard way of wiring monitors. So if we hit one, the master for monitor mix one is already up. So let's send input one to monitor mix one. There we go. And then if we roll back to LR, left and right, it will still be going to monitor mix one when you swap pages. So you really do need to remember what you send in these various pages will remain in place when you change page. So don't forget what you've got going where. Now, FX, reverb. So reverb is post fade. What that means is you have to have the fader up on the left and right for the reverb to work. So if we put this one up, what I will do is I'll put this up and then I will add in reverb on FX1 and you'll hear it come in. My fault, I need to turn up the FX return. Oh, FX return is up. So let's go back to LR. To LR. So we've got a decent level of sense. Sorry, YouTube is just restarting. There we go. Can you hear the reverb? Again, best not to forget where you sent reverb because it can get messy. But going back to the recall, when you recall the desk, that will change all of the sends. It will set everything back to zero. So there we go. Some of you that have played the newt before, we may actually have scenes from you. For instance, let's look into here. So if we roll down through the desk, so Adam's played here before, Kate's played here before, Graham and Vincent. Let's look at Dan. Dan's a regular. So if we hit Dan, select it and then hit go, hit yes, the desk will become exactly as it was when me or one of the boys mixed Dan last. So you'd need to plug the guitar into the guitar into input one on the back of the desk, down sax into two, and his vocals into four. Um, Graham and Vincent. Again, the same. If we look into here, we look into Graham's guitar and hit on uh, there, we can see that there's no phantom power on the guitar. But if we move across to the fiddle, we notice there's phantom power on the fiddle. So again, let, let's, let's go through the resetting the desk. So reset mix settings, standard, reset, yes. There we go. That's a brief rundown on how to use this console. Any questions, my phone's always on. Beth's got my number. Have a good day, traps. <laughs>